Hello guys, in this video we'll learn about Behavior Driven Development BDD using Rust. Basically, Behavior Driven Development is a collaborative approach or technique that uses plan language example to define software behaviors, ensuring clear communication and shared understanding among developers, testers and stakeholders. So you can define the behavior, expected behavior of your software or your application and the test would execute to prove if the expected behavior occurs or not. And the, the behavior, the expected behavior will write using the plan language, which we'll see in a minute. Now, behavior driven development is different from test driven development or TDD, which most of us would have used or heard at some point in our career because behavior driven development focuses on specifying the behavior of software through examples and user stories enhancing the collaboration among the stakeholders so basically a non-technical person could also read through those behavior uh, feature files that we call it and understand what should be expected behavior of this application or software or piece of code whereas test driven up development or tdd emphasizes on writing tests before code to ensure the functionality and guide the design so it's kind of a bit different uh, it serves the different purpose as well but at the end of the day both helps you uh, in checking or testing the behavior of your software now we'll be using cucumber a very famous tool or bdd that allows writing human readable scenarios and plan language to automate testing we'll be using rust as the programming language but garken for the syntax or the features or scenarios that we'll be writing for our bdd and i'll be using english for that but it's supported in different other languages as well which you can check out i'll drop the link in the description and for using this and understanding the behavior driven development hands-on we'll be taking a basic example of calculator so we'll be developing a calculator app uh, with the functionalities like addition subtraction multiplication division and then we'll be writing the behavior driven development tasks around it first of all move to the project explorer and make sure you have a clean rust library project and here we'll write our calculator functions and then we can do the behavior uh, scenarios around it or you can write along as well but i'll just first of all add these so pub fn add and let's say an x as i32 y as i32 and then we return i32 and here we just do x plus y similarly we can copy this and add subtract and we can do just x minus y here and mul and we can just do x into y and similarly we can do let's say uh, divide now we'll be writing our behavior driven development scenarios around these four functions that we have for our application but you can do it for literally any application that you have and write the same or you can just write one function write around it the expected behaviors and work with it so now back to your project explorer and here first of all we'll add a test directory inside we'll add a features directory where we'll add our user stories or behavior driven development uh, scenarios inside our test directory we'll add a cucumber rs as the root the suit of our test and then we'll move to cargo toml file now here let's add our dependencies now let's add tokyo for async programming with version as latest and features as full and then we'll add a dev dependency which is cucumber with latest version and then we'll add test and here name so the name is cucumber which is same as the name of our suit which is cucumber rs and then we'll just do harness as false now why do we need harness as false is because we want cucumber to print out its own uh, summary and uh, basically everything related to the test all the dump in our cli and if we don't do this then basically it will 
not to be able to override the default output which is printed when we do cargo test so make sure you add this now once all the dependencies are added move back to the project explorer and here in the features directory add a calculator.feature file now why i name this as calculator is because we are writing for a calculator scenario here uh, the story the user stories or the scenarios but if you want to have for a different use case then obviously the name should be around that but dot feature is basically the extension that should be used now here we'll just simply do is feature as let's say uh, math operations and scenario and the scenario is let's say add two numbers then we will use the syntax which is given now given i have a number or i have two and three so basically two and three are my numbers and as you can see i have written down this in the plan english so when i add them then the result is five so this is our scenario now in tdd or different other testing approaches you must have seen test suit so this is basically kind of same we have scenario so each scenario has its own given when then so given whatever you have and then when what operation you perform and then what should happen now let's move to our cucumber rs and here we'll add uh, the boilerplate code or the base code which will remain same for our scenarios and then we will just keep on adding test on top of it so first of all we need a struct and we'll name this as world that's a common term used for uh, passing a state you can call it uh, among the functions or the steps that we have for our uh, pdd in the cucumber so here we can add our let's say numbers now because our calculator we have to pass numbers so let's say right now we just have two numbers uh, we can use other data structures as well and the result is i32 now on top of this we'll just derive a few things so first of all we need is cucumber world and then we need debug and default now move all the way down and here we'll add async fn main as the entry point or the execution part of our test and make this async and then we'll just do world run and test feature now this will basically point to our features file that we have uh, right this one so this will basically point to the features directory now let's add the steps so let's say fn i have number and world and mutable world and then number one i32 number two i32 and here we'll just do worlds dot numbers is equals to num1 num2 and on top of this this is given and here we can add rejects to match and extract our uh, numbers so we'll just say i have and d plus and d plus to extract our numbers now make sure this rejects can extract whatever you have it here so i have two and three i have d and d so similarly we'll just add another one fn and we'll just say i add them world and mutable world and then we'll just do let a b and world dot numbers just to 
restructure the numbers and we'll just say world.result and then we'll use our functions of calculator and pass a b and whatever the result we get now this will use the quote which we will use for our calculator as well so on top of this now this is when the second step which is when and we can just match the exact thing which is when i add them just do this and similarly the last thing which is fn the result is world and mutable world and expect it i32 so assert and equal and world dot result expected and on top of this we'll just add then the final step that we have and again here we'll just use rejects and we'll just do r and the result is again let's extract so d plus and dollar similarly uh, we have all of this here and this is pretty much all that we need to add the first test but let's say for the next scenario which we'll see in a minute we just have to add instead of i add them a separate operation everything else remains the same and we can just keep on piling on on our behaviors so let's first of all go ahead and test this now just open your terminal and we'll just do cargo test test cucumber and quite okay here you go as you can see we have our scenario with our steps add two numbers and everything that we have in the feature and similarly it just says uh, one feature one scenario and three steps and everything passed but let's say if i change it to six and then i run this and as you can see it says three steps two steps pass one failed and it returns us so let's say we change this and let's add another scenario so we just can copy this and here we can just say i uh, subtract two numbers i have let's say 20 and 3 and i'm expecting a 17 so we go to cucumber we just copy this and instead of i add them we just say i subtract them and i copy this i subtract them i subtract them and call subtract that's all that we need here now let's open our terminal and run and there you go as you can see now six steps passed two scenarios that we have and everything passed similarly you can try same for multiplication and division now as you can see it's pretty easy it's human readable it's changeable from any non-technical person as well uh, with respect to whatever the behavior they are expecting they can try and check if expected behavior can be achieved now this is useful for a chat application or similar such applications where we could have different behaviors based on the inputs so we could you know do a bdd there and test out the behaviors of our chat bots and chat applications so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys understand and hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new if you do like the video share with your friends i'll catch you guys in the next video thank you